hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Cardi Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection I hope you have been watching this series uh it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have um and I've been enjoying talking about it a couple of them I feel like I need to add uh to my rotation because it kind of been sitting in the back of my collection if you have not uh caught the earlier versions of this series it is in the description uh under full fragrance collection click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up but to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh get through my collection thank you thank you thank you I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. All right, so we have moved to the fresh scents in my collection. When I think fresh, I think of like citrus, right? So instead of calling them citrus fragrances, um, I think fresh, like very fresh, very clean fragrances. Uh, so we're gonna start off with lemon. My very first one is going to be Slut by um, Aaron Terrence Hughes. This one here to me is... Um, what do I get out of this one? It's Neroli, it's sweet orange and lemon. So it's very light, like a burst of freshness at the top. And then the part of the fragrance is a little jasmine, a little musk. Uh, the dry down is patchouli and amber. So it's almost like uh, warm skin, like warm, thick, fresh skin. Sun-kissed skin is what I think of when I think of this one why he used the words the name slut i have no idea <laughs> but it is a very good fragrance my next one in this category is going to be mascal mule by juliet has a gun this uh literally smells like the drink mascal mule like if you've ever smelled that drink and they do the lemon swirl like they cut the lemon like a little spiral and drop it inside the vodka uh, with a splash, a very light, light splash of juice. <laughs> that is a mascal mule to my like, to my understanding. That's what it is. Uh, so bergamot, lime, lemon. Uh, there's a ginger note in this one. It's some apple, I want to say like a green apple note or maybe even... Um, I say, yeah, like a green apple note, like a really tart apple note that's in it, amberwood and amberette. Mostly it's, it's that citrus opening, that kind of bergamot, lime, and lemon. And then it has like a touch of something. So very similar to the drink. It's very it's like a touch of other scents. Um, ginger in here is not, to me predominant so i don't know i would tell you that it's a ginger scent uh is more of a very fresh scent in my in, in my opinion All right my next one is another alien um this is when they went to like almost like a bright fresh alien uh this is another one of those ones where i don't think that jasmine is in it <laughs> i don't think they put it in it uh, so as you have noticed, the aliens that I do have are aliens that are not jasmine heavy. Uh, this one is called Alien Sun Essence EDT Laguer. So it's very fresh, very light. Uh, it's not too long lasting. It is a fragrance you have to top off. Um, so it has, it has jasmine. It says it has jasmine, but I don't really smell it a lot. Um, it's lemon, it's amber, it's cashmerian green notes and vanilla i get all of those other notes but i don't really get the jasmine and i think that's probably why it's still in my collection this one here is under the lemon tree 
is another one of those either you love it or you don't i've heard some people say it smells like pledge or cleaning supplies <laughs> or anything of the sort um i don't get that for me on my skin i just get a really clean scent um possibly that is coming from the lime and the pedigree that's in it uh because lime too can get a little musty for me uh i find that this is not one i can over spray because then i do get that heavy lime kind of like um cleaning agent type smell this is like a one or two maybe three spray scent uh mostly on my clothes not so much on my skin uh because like i had mentioned before lime and i are not always friends uh it does have cardamom so i do get um i you know i i get where people are going with this scent uh but if worn the correct way or worn the way i wear it i won't say the correct way or the way that i wear it i think that you can get away with it uh it does have a green have a tea note to it it does have white musk cedar and um another like earthy note of calendar i think it is and it's so try it out that's what i'm gonna say about under the lemon tree try it out sample it um I'm, get a 10 meal uh i don't know if a small two meal sample would give you enough to say if you should or should not buy it what i did was i actually ordered it on scent scent bird um and i do have a link in the um in the description for scent bird but i ordered it from scent bird and uh tried it out and it took me a very long time i'll be very honest with you to to actually buy it <laughs> it took me a while because i kept i would like it one i would like it one time i have it on then i wouldn't like it the next time that i have it on uh and then so try it out that's what i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you to try this one out my next one in this category for lemon is going to be my tom ford florida portofino aqua that is just what that name says it is a very fresh very very fresh and almost water-based type fresh scent uh, tangerine, uh, Sicilian lemon, orange leaf, violet. So there's a clean powder note to it. Um, there is orange blossom. It's a very, very, very fresh, very um, airy scent. So this is not a command the rum, but this is a gorgeous and cool weather type scent maybe if you're on a boat ride or you're going somewhere where you would uh pass someone and the wind would blow off of you that's this scent um i love it on myself uh but i do i have to admit it smells amazing on my husband so i think male chemistry makes this stand out even better but i enjoy it enough as a fresh scent for me to wear that i haven't given it to him uh florida portofino aqua this one here is another one that's going to fall into that same category is aqua elegara lemon verde <laughs> beautiful i truly love this scent i truly truly love this scent um the lime and fig and sugar cane and tropical fruits that's in this fragrance with the tonka bean base it's such a beautifully light airy scent but yet gourmand that's what I got out of this one. Love it, love it, love it. Um, there was another one I want to say, Coconut Fizz, that I kind of waited too long to get, and I kind of wish I would have gotten it, but I can't find it anywhere to get it. And I don't know if I even want it now, but at the time when I got um, kind of going through my collection, trying to kind of taking some things out, um, I got rid of some scents in hopes to get Coconut Fizz because everybody was talking about it and I just didn't get it, but I am very happy to have Lemon Verde. I love it. And to round off my lemon lime type section, this is by Pink Mahogany and it's called Tandem. This is a fragrance that is very similar to a mojito. So if you've ever smelled a mojito, 
then that is what this scent is. Um, it's minty, it's citrus based, it has this like a rice note. I don't know what it is about me and rice, but I do like that note. Um, orange blossom, and it's very soft, very clean, uh, fresh linen type clean. I can see this one here being worn with uh, a white linen outfit. Absolutely love it. And these are my lemon scents or lemon lime type scents. And again, this is in the fresh category, but these would be my lemon or lime. And I have very few limes and the ones I do have uh, is probably paired with something else. All right, so let's jump into the remainder of my fresh scents. And this would be my orange scents. Um, my first one is going to be BDK's Seal D Orgent. Um, when I initially got this, I had gotten it for my husband, right? I had gotten it like as a fragrance for him. And I kept spraying it, so I just took it back. <laughs> And because he's not really into fragrances, I don't even think he noticed that it's not there. Uh, it's salt, so it's like this beautifully salty skin note. Uh, grapefruit, bergamot, orange blossom. It has Mas Madag Madagascar vanilla, ylang ylang. There is a white musk, a broxan, and e iso e super and cashmere in it so you already know why i took it back because it had a broxen and it had ie super in it he doesn't know enough about fragrances to even know that this was an amazing scent <laughs> so it is in my collection my next one is jones beach beautiful fragrance gorgeous gorgeous fragrance oh you see that i have the big bottle gorgeous fragrance by bond number nine this is orange blossom white musk abroxin and violet wonderful on the skin you can wear this in the heat you can wear this on a cool breezy beach night this is such an amazing scent and absolutely amazing i love it. it's fun it's fresh I love this scent. My next one is going to be San Diego by City Rhythms. With this one here, you're going to get Juniper Berry, Blood Orange, that sea salt note. Uh, there is a lavender, but it's not a lot. Like, um, And I do like that. It's not a lot in there. But then it gives you a little gourmand because you're going to get almond, uh, and um Amaris in it. I'm agree, I'm sorry, in it. But then it still stays powdery, fresh, and clean because you have the violet leaves, the iris, and then some vanilla. This was a beautiful blend, and I don't know if I even showed it to you. A lot of and I might have mentioned it when I talked about it this line before. You can get the sparkle in it, and I love this one. I absolutely love this one. This was one of um one of my tops for uh, City Rhythms. Outside of New Orleans, of course, and I'm a tad bit biased about that one. San Diego and then Miami kind of go back and forth for the second place. Well, it's a couple of them that can probably go back and forth because New Orleans is going to always be my first, but I, I will always like San Diego. My next one is going to be Vane and Navai by Nashani. Um... There is a love and hate relationship <laughs> that I have with this scent. I love it sometimes, and then sometimes I think it's too masculine. But I enjoy it, right? I enjoy it, and I don't know if I want to get rid of it or if I want to pass it on because I really enjoy it. It's orange, it's bergamot, it's raspberry. It has a rum and plum note, which I think is amazing. Benzoin, amber, and sandalwood in it. Some days when I wear it, I get a lot of jasmine and cedar. A lot of jasmine and cedar. And I'm like, mm, I don't like it. And then other times I have it on. I think it really depends on the weather. So I guess I need to figure out what is the best, best temperature for me to wear this scent. Uh, so that I get more raspberry, bergamot, and orange. 
and benzoin amber and sandalwood then of the jasmine cedar and the patchouli so i gotta figure that part out my next one in this category is by van uh v contu and it is i want to say it is Sis, uh, Cutia, Sis Cutia, I'm not quite sure. I'll make sure the name's on the bottom of it. Uh, this one here is, it is an orange note, but it is another one of those that I like it, then I don't like it, right? Um, cause it has clementine, it has orange, it has bergamot, it has Bulgarian rose. All of this is amazing. Vanilla, vanilla flower, gorgeous, right? But then sometimes you get that uh, very earthy, spicy calendar in it. You get this birch, which is like a tree um, branch. You get musk. You get this uh, very heavy, uh, I don't know what type of amber this is, right? I like amber, but I don't know what type of amber this is uh, or if it's just not working for me. Now, I know that I did get this off for someone on Macari, so I'm really hoping that this is not a fake because I hear everyone talk about it and they say that it's amazing, but I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not always getting that. I get an okay. It's okay. Uh, but I will admit that if I make it to the end of the year and I still don't find myself reaching for this one, when I do wear it, I still want to scrub it off, then I might just go ahead and take it out of my collection. And to round off this area, this section, we're going to end it with Sunny Side Up by Juliet Has a Gun. This was a great find on Jarma Shop. It, was, it has vanilla absolute. It has jasmine, sandalwood. It has coconut milk. So it really could have went with my coconut section. It has orris root, which is this beautiful powderyness to it. It could have went with my powdery section. Uh, it has IE Super in it, which I told you before is a note that can work differently on all everyone's chemistry. And then it has Amberette. This was beautifully done. This was one of the uh, better ones that came out in that timeline, right? There was one that was like a lipstick scent, was not for me. There was another one that came out, it was a little too earthy for me, mm, did not. But I did like Sunny Side Up, hence why Sunny Side Up is in my collection. So this rounds off my fresh, and this is my orange fresh notes uh, that I have in my collection. And I do enjoy them, except for the one that I told you I'm still trying to figure that one out. But we will see. Come the end of the year, we will see. Wait, wait, wait. I have to come back. I have to come back. I cannot believe. <laughs> See, this is the problem of someone who has too many fragrances. <laughs> I was about to end this video and did not talk about Mont Blanc Signature. How can you not talk about this beautiful fragrance? See, I almost forgot it. I need to move some stuff over. Let's take this one who we still thinking about, put them on the end. Let's move this large one up to the top. Cause you have to see this one you have to see it this is such a affordable good fragrance this is beautiful beautiful it is it's like a like a i don't even know if i can really describe it and give it the best vibe it reminds me of like an orange sickle right so think of an orange sickle fragrance um Funny story is I had it uh, and got rid of it. <laughs> I don't even know why. And I had to end up buying it again. And I think what I did was I gave it to my mom because she came over and she liked it. And then I couldn't find it. And everyone kept asking my opinion about this fragrance and I couldn't find it. I was like, well, obviously I don't like it because I don't have it. So then I ended up buying it again and I love it. And I don't, I don't know why I gave it to my mom, <laughs> but it has clementine. It has ylang, ylang peony, vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. This is a, an amazingly affordable scent, but beautiful. I think it would be beautiful in anyone's collection. So now, this is the last of my fresh orange-based scents. I cannot believe I almost forgot about one of my favorites. 
but I hope that you find one that you enjoy and one of them catches your eye. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching the video and staying tuned. If you are enjoying this series, put a star in the comments. Uh, today we talked about and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it was interesting to you that I told you of some fragrances that you could get into, that you could add to your collection. But I always wanna know, what do you have that I need to get into? What do I need to start uh, smelling? I have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents. So in the topic we talked about today, if you know of a fragrance I need to add, Tell me about it. But on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video.